Hey YouTube, super excited to bring you this video. I'm actually skipping sequence of videos that I've filmed. I've got one or two in the uh, pipeline, but um, hey, better audio, different overhead camera, should be a little different, and you can see a wider view of this bench. Still the same wobbly overhead view, but I want to do this unboxing live. I literally just got home from the post office, so this is all literally unscripted. My new 3D scanner has arrived. I want to do the unboxing. The reviews and testing will come later, but YOLO, let's do it in one take. Um, I bought the Whale 3D scanner um, from 3D Maker Pro. Uh, this company seems to be a white box company, which means they're the ones behind several other scanners like the Creality and one or two other ones on their website. Um, so... I think they know their tech and I'm willing to take the chance because theoretically um, this is like a $7,000 scanner that I got for $1,000. So I'm taking the risk. Anyone in the future getting this is probably going to have to pay full retail price. I got the plus version, which comes with accessories. This is the box. It's nondescript. They uh, suggest that you use it for home furnishing, medical care. Sorry about the wobble. Uh, educational research, cultural relics, reverse engineering, and body scan. Um, in terms of the... Uh, I'm going to hide the serial number, but uh, other than that, it comes with a... Well, let's see if the camera can pick that up. All right, well, we'll just YOLO it. Uh, it comes with a scan host, a device cable, a power supply, and changeover plugs, whatever that means. Turntable and turntable cable, tripod, USB drive, and a manual, so mm, I'd rather download the software and be able to scan it than plug a mystery USB device into my computer, but hey, I guess this is a USB device. Uh, and a carrying case. Um, other than that, let's open it. All right. I've been waiting for this for months. Oh, hot damn, it's actually got a, a hard case. Let me do this off camera. Uh, the inside of the box did have a foam lining in it. Really hard to maneuver that on the bench. Um, it's a decent chunk of plank foam. I'll save it. <clears throat> Bubble wrap. Obviously don't need that. And it comes in this uh, hard case. Hard case seems pretty decent. I mean, it's not a Pelican or a Nanook case, but... Um, yeah. Similar label with the serial number and everything else. I think I might just blur that in post because I kind of missed... I've got these red things. This is probably just an OEM case, but it's decent quality. So what do we have here? Uh, who? Other than the fact that this power supply immediately fell out, but that could have been settled in, during shipping. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got. Is this lid insert? Yeah, it's glued in. Okay. Um, let's start with what we have in the base here. Allen key that probably fell out. USB drive. I'm going to set that aside. Uh, USB micro cable. Please don't use USB micro. Companies, seriously, it's 2022, almost 2023. We don't need more USB micro devices. Uh, we have international plug adapters. Oh, this goes in the lid here. So that's neat. It actually comes with uh, several different standards and it just settled and fell. Uh, we have the cable. I've seen another video of this, but this might be one of the first videos out there. Uh, five pin. Oh my goodness. I've really got to get a different camera set up. I don't like this one. Uh, a Limo style uh, connector with a, a pull cord. I don't know if this is actually a Limo standard fit. Um, it could be any other circular connector. But uh, it looks like this is kind of the pass-through cable. You've got a um, power and data feed from USB to the proprietary connector. <clears throat> and that's a locking connector, so at least it won't come apart. 
Got a uh, tripod quick release plate. Um, that should be useful. It is just kind of floating around loose in here. Um, we've got tripod extension, which is wrapped carbon fiber. That's nice. Light, rigid. Um, I don't know if the end caps are glued on, but we'll see if there are any issues with that. Uh, we have <clears throat> metal tripod. Decent billet milled aluminum anodized rubber feet. Um, gets a nice low center of gravity. It's got their uh, branding engraved on it. The fit and finish on this is actually pretty uh, pretty slick. Okay. Huh, that's gonna bug me. There's a metal object in here, there's a metal object in here. That is just asking for the tripod to get scratched. <clears throat> uh, looks like it's a kind of dog bone style uh, adapter. You've got uh, rosettes and a thumb screw to tighten them. Uh, so I guess that gives you the ability to form an offset or articulate the uh, scanner to an angle that's non-level. Ooh. Hmm. Well, okay, I guess... So the way they milled the rosettes into the aluminum, you can't actually get a direct upright alignment. You can see here, overhead view makes it super obvious. They... <laughs> okay, they didn't think this one through. You've got 90, 45, and... 0 or 0, 45, 90, etc. angle marks. But the rosettes don't allow you to actually get it perfectly upright. I mean, at the very least, they milled it symmetrically, so technically, yes, you can maintain this edge and this edge in parallel, but they really should have made it so that this can go perfectly upright. Hopefully they fix it in a future revision, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, that's... Mm, I don't like that. That That's going to go in, and it's going to scratch up the tripod. <clears throat> okay, main event. <laughs> How the heck do you pull this out? Do you have to... Does this foam insert come out? Okay, nope, that wasn't supposed to come out. It's uh, got glue on it, but okay. All right, that's the scanner itself. Decent weight. That's aluminum. That's aluminum. That's plastic. Big, large buttons for handheld control. Um, we've got our CE mark, and I actually think that this is a CE because the uh, the circle here actually lines up with that edge on the E. Um, what is that, like a Rohis symbol or something? Um, I don't know what that mark is. UK and CA. Okay, FCC, if that's actually real. Hopefully they actually did get all these certifications. I'm noticing another small detail. It's hard to see on camera, unfortunately, and I am increasingly not liking this overhead camera setup that I've set up for myself. Um, this threaded insert this is an aluminum base. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's aluminum anyways. One way to check. Yep, not magnetic. Um, they actually went to the effort of putting in a steel helicoil. This is one of the first times I've ever seen that. So I'm immediately giving these guys points for that. For those of you that don't know, um, if you thread mill quarter 20 threads into bare aluminum, it will eventually deform, especially if you over-tighten. In this case, they put a steel helicoil insert in here to make the threads last longer. For an $8,000 retail product, I expect nothing less. So, okay, that's good. Other than that, camera... Um, you know, one point of feedback that comes to mind, if you were to leave this out on a table and not stored in the case, 
um, my worry would be that something scratches the optics on this assembly. Um, knowing that they have the models, it would be really nice if they designed something that could be 3D printed on a flatbed and just acts as a cover for this. Um, so if they watch this video, 3D Maker Pro, pay attention and hopefully you guys uh, have the bandwidth to develop a 3D printable cover for this. But I'm setting this aside for now. Uh, let's dig into the rest of this case. The foam, the foam works. Um, I'm a little disappointed this kind of came off, but maybe that's kind of a design. It doesn't look like it really wet this. This looks like it's contact cement, so it looks like they should have put two coats, one here and one here. Um, either way, I mean, worst case, this just, I just glue this back on. It's not that big a deal. Um, interesting that it's like kind of form fit. One thing that is going to bug me is how do you index this? I guess that step and this step index together. So yeah, okay, I can live with that. We have a turntable with lots of fiducial marks. It is a very tight fit, and you need very small fingers to get in there and pull this out. Um, and it immediately felt like this was going to get pulled up if I pulled it from just the top lip here. Um, that is a very tight fit. Oh, the USB micro cable that I was cursing out is for this sucker. Okay. All right, well... Disappointing that it's USB micro instead of USB-C. This is 2022. Um, maybe a future hardware revision. Pretty please. Like, come on. Everything is USB micro. Or not USB micro, USB-C. I mean, spoilers, the other video that I'm skipping is this um, Hick Micro B1L thermal camera. It's got USB-C. Heck. My, uh... My wireless lav mic, that's got USB-C. Okay, USB-C rants aside, what do we have in the lid? We've got some kind of paperwork. This is a packing list. Minimum, ooh, those are kind of spicy rec uh, requirements. I don't think my old laptop will handle it, but my desktop will absolutely handle it. Um, hmm. We've got a white boxed um, power supply with different, uh, oh, come on, different blades for different countries. Um, it would have been nice if they designed it so that there was actually a pre-cut cutout here in the lid so that if you're not switching countries every time, you don't have to disassemble this and put wear on this mechanism um, just in order to stow this away, right? Because when you think about it, if you're using this kind of day in, day out, putting it in the case, taking it out, putting it back in the case, taking it out, you've got to detach this blade every time. There's no cutout here. So I'm going to have to modify that. We'll uh, do that. Um, okay, but other than that, that's everything in the case. And the case itself seems to be pretty good fit and finish. Um, I mean, it's, it's not Pelican, but it's decent enough. This looks like it's ABS or an ABS polycarbonate blend. I don't know what these red strips are for, style, I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to bust this open and uh, give it a shot. I'm probably not going to do a first reactions video. I want to get some quality time with this. But uh, yeah, exciting things coming up. Um, admittedly, I haven't been posting very actively, but uh, I'm going to try and get back in that habit, so we will see what happens next. I still haven't figured out what this Allen key is for, though. Um, is it for this tripod plate? Ah, yeah, it's that tripod plate. Um, yeah, okay, so I guess that goes on top of there. It would have been nice if they either made this like a thumb screw or... Um, oh, huh, I don't like that. 
It's not captive. It looks like it's got the chamfer for captive. Not the chamfer, the um, the neck on the screw, but... Oh, look at that. This actually has 3 8 inch threads in it, I think. I'm going to have to check. But I might have a 3 8 inch to quarter 20 adapter, in which case I can chuck this. And I don't need to store this because I can just put the threaded insert there and then put that right in there. Um, the only exception would be to attach it to this double-ended dog bone accessory. I don't know what it's really called, but um, I mean, that's easily dealt with enough. I've got quarter 20 rigging hardware. That can be resolved. Um, initial reactions, it does feel like it's got a quality product feel to it. Um, I'm going to have to get into the testing with it. Some of the components are OEM slash white boxed, but that's fine because these guys are probably focusing on their core competency, which is making a 3D scanner, which uh, does sensor fusion between near range IR, far range IR, and visible wavelength with one of these cameras. Uh, we will have to do some testing. Just looking at the lenses, I think these three are the IR optics, just because of the color of the lenses. Um, yeah, okay. Short, sweet video, to the point. Um, short and sweet, 17 minutes still. Okay, that's the unboxing. Uh, if you liked this video, like, subscribe, comment, engage with the algorithm because it controls what you watch. Um, I don't monetize this stuff. I do it for fun, so enjoy. Peace.